Hi guys, welcome to the VST channel. Here I have the S22 Ultra, Samsung S22 Ultra, Exynos version running on the latest One UI 41 Android 12. Here I have the iPhone 11 running on the latest iOS 15.4. And what I'm gonna do guys in this video, I'm gonna do a comparison between the interfaces. The first thing to start of course is what happens when we approach the phone. So phone is on the desk, you know, one tap here on the S20 Ultra gets us the clock and you can also see the notifications you see the battery level you're able to unlock your phone one tap on the iphone directly gets to the lock screen right this is the first big difference to get to this point here on the ultra i need to double tap it okay so one tap here directly gets into the lock screen one tap here just shows you the aod style like the clock the notifications the battery level but two taps will get you to the lock screen and let's see what happened when we click here on the samsung okay we have an option to check our widgets play music the weather etc and we have also an option to go to the settings so for that of course you need to unlock your phone inside the settings guys you are able to rearrange your widgets music weather the scale of the alarm digital well-being i mean you name it it's plenty of options okay i'm gonna now lock my phone again okay so clicking on the clock will get me to this piece of information. Else here you can see the clock, you can see the date, you can see also your notifications and the battery level and there are plenty of options I'm gonna show you in a while. Now let's click on the clock on the iPhone. Okay, nothing happens. Now let's check what I can do with my gestures. So apparently if I do like this, I'm going to try to unlock my phone, which I don't want, okay? So I got a notification just now, it's displayed on the screen. What happens if I do like this? Okay, so swiping down will get me the search box and also Siri will suggest the use of some applications. Now, if I want to open, let's say settings, of course, I need to be able to unlock my phone. Okay, so scrolling down will get you the search box and access to your application. Scrolling up, will get you the notification center, right? So you see here you have all the notifications, they're grouped and also messages, apps, everything. If I click here, of course, I need to be able to unlock my phone. So we test it up, we test it down. What happens when we go to the left side? Left side will show you all your widgets, the date, you know, we have the map widgets, I'm still getting notifications. You now everything that you have decided will stay here. Also you have a search box where you can just search for some of the apps Okay, and let's now go to the right side. So right side, of course, will get me the camera, right? And this is actually seen also here, right? So if I do like this, I get immediate access to my camera, right? And the other option is to hold the button here until you fear the vibration. This will get you the flashlight on. Let's check what happens when we do like this. All right, we get access to the control center where we are able to manipulate the settings. If we do something like this, nothing happens. And I think this pretty much are all the options on the iPhone. Now let's see what the Ultra can do. If we go to the left, yeah, phone wants to get unlocked, right? If we go to the right though, all right, we're able to get some wallpaper services. That's not so interesting. When you go like this, again, it is required for you to unlock the phone. And now let's see what happens when we do like this. All right, nothing still needs to unlock the phone. But if you do like this, guys, you're able to get here also to the control center. Let me just see if you're able to manipulate things. Yes, you are. Now let's talk briefly notifications. Here you only see the icons, but on the iPhone you see a bit more. And because it's Android, you know there are really plenty of settings. If you go down in your settings and you search for the lock screen, which is here, you can go inside the notifications and then you can just check or uncheck icons only, right? Or probably go to details and try to get some text and here the options are really a lot now let me just show what will happen with the text on okay i'm gonna be able to see notifications much like this style used on the ios okay this is pretty much the same what happens if i want to interact i can either like it or reply which will of course want me uh, to log on my phone but you can see my idea now of course if you just go to icons right icons you just get this and i do believe this is almost everything you can do with the lock screen pay attention that the samsung phones yes android they also have the always on display you don't have the always on display at least on my iphone 11 but the ones that use the OLED screen there are some workarounds so that's why i'm not showing here the always on display this here now is the main home screen so let's just try to see what we can do inside so i'm doing like this on the samsung and i'm doing like this on the iphone and pretty much the same behavior you know you get a control center there you get some of the notifications now of course right now here is only notification center right but if you scroll like this you're going to get access to your control center on the android right whatever i scroll doesn't really matter if i do it from here or here 
I'm pretty much gonna get the same. But if you are using MIUI, you know <laughs> how MIUI is. It, it's a bit more like this, all right? So what happens, guys, if I scroll to the very left, I'm gonna get here my Google feed. If I do this on the iPhone, I'm presented with the same widget screen. So all my widgets there, of course, I can do a search, I can Siri suggestions, plenty of things, right? On my Samsung S22 Ultra, I here have the Google Fit. Now, what happens when I scroll down to the very right part, so I keep scrolling through all my screens. At some point here, I just reach the end. Now, on the iOS, it's a bit different, so I keep scrolling to all of my screens. See, I'm now on the last screen, and you expect this to be the end, but it's not. When I do like this, I'm going to get access to the app library, which is actually something very interesting, and I'll show you why. Let's take here utilities, right? I have a lot of icons and you can just see some of the icons are bigger than others. So let's say if I want to go into settings, I just click it and it's going to work, right? If I open Safari, I just click it and it's going to work. And let's say if I want to open the calculator, it's the same. You know, it's very handy and it does work. But let's say if I want to open the uh, icons here, I need to click and then they will ungroup, right? And then I'm able to click more of those icons. And honestly, the way it looks, the design here is really, I mean, it's iOS, it's really brilliant. It's very flawless and there are no stutters at all. Please note, this is a 60 hertz display. So this app library is what you can see here on the iOS. On the Samsung, of course, there are plenty of things, right? I can just click here. I can select this to be my main screen. Of course, there are more customizations since, you know, this is Android. But I just wanted to share, like, what is the default behavior, okay? Now, what will happen if I scroll up like this on my S22 Ultra? I'm going to get access to my app drawer. What happens if we scroll up like this on the iPhone? Yeah, nothing much really happens, right? Because all of the icons are there. You don't really have, like, an app drawer. So, yeah, this is what we get on the iPhone. And let's try to search for an application. I'm going to search for Chrome. All right, Chrome, you get it there. Here, I just go CH, okay, Chrome. So they do pretty much work in almost the same way. But there are some differences. Android 12 and One are using this universal search. So you see, even by typing CH, I got here changed language shortcut, charging. I have everything from my settings starting with CH. I even have my contacts and etc. Now, it's time to show you something else. Let's talk volume rockers. So I'm going to just put the volume up here. You know, we get it. Like volume rocker, boom, now it's gone. See what happens on the iPhone, guys. Click it, first it starts big, then it disappears, right? And when you start manipulating, it also goes, you know, away from the icon so that it will not obstruct your view. And I honestly, I like it. You know, it's a bit more tactile. Here, see, you just open it, okay? Yeah, you start manipulating it, it all stays the same. The animation is not so good. Okay, there is some animation, but of course there are some advantages. Why? Because when you click here, you know, I'm able to then manipulate everything. My notifications, my media, so really can do plenty of things. Here I do have only the option to manipulate the volume, and yeah, that's it. It's a bit more simplistic, but probably also a bit more efficient, right? Because here, you know, I have plenty of things. You know, sometimes you can go inside, you don't know what to do. I mean, you get my point. All right, we are now on the home screen and we'll try to see what happens if I just hold my finger like this. I get access to changing my wallpaper, applying themes, widget settings, all right? And also, I'm able to delete this screen and make this screen my primary. Let's let's actually do it. What does this mean? Let's say I'm here, I wanna go back, boom. Now this is my primary screen. What happens if I hold my finger on the iPhone? You directly get the option to remove icons. Let me show you how this works on the Ultra. So I need to hold an icon. Okay, then I need to click select, and right now I'm able to multi-select icons, right, and move them, remove them, create a folder, so you see what I'm going with is I have really more options. Here, you know, I can just delete the icons from my home screen, and that's it. But maybe this is a bit quicker, right? Also, no quick way for me to go directly to wallpaper, right? Here, that's not possible, right? I need to go inside settings, I need to scroll down, I mean, you know, like, this has been forever with iOS. Here, I can do plenty plenty of stuff. Also, remember the lock screen? If I go inside the lock screen and click the clock styles, I have plenty of clock styles. Digitals like this, I have also the analog one. You can even choose custom colors. You can even go and choose your colors, right? But I mean, okay, that should be not a surprise. I mean, it's Android and just Android is really full of options. And One UI is really the most customizable operating system there without root, without any mods. Just see this here, guys, right? Just see this here. Now I'm gonna click, 
boom, see what's going to happen. <laughs> Immediately, I get access to my Twitter account and also to my Telegram account, and it's all saved. I mean, how crazy is this, right? This thing's on iOS. Yeah, maybe someday we'll be around to see them. But okay, let's now turn back to the behavior. So if I click here, right, I'm able to move around the icons, right? I can go and change the screens. And not a lot of people notice, guys. See here, when I click my finger, right, something will change here. But that's not all. If I click here, right, I'm going to get access to the screens. And this is quite nice. You can decide which screen you want to remove, right? So there are plenty of options, and they're not so straightforward. I'm going to show this one more time. So I'm clicking here, right? Then I'm clicking here, and now I can decide that I don't need the screen anymore, okay? So clicking here, okay? And I can now go there, and if I don't like the screen anymore, I click the minus, it all goes away. But of course, you're not deleting the applications. Let me show you something. I'm going to take Spotify, and I'm going to put it there. Right, and then I'm gonna get a folder, okay? And I can just type whatever I want. I'm just gonna type test. So right now I have a test folder, okay? This folder is there, it's gonna work. Let me do this here. I am taking this application and I'm putting it there, all right? And I'll go inside and name my test folder, okay? So now I have created two folders. What happens if I click on the folder? I have the options to edit the home screen, which I showed you before, but I do also have the option to remove the folder. Removing the folder will actually remove the apps only from the home screen, but they will be in the library. So let me just show you, if I do like this, they're gone. But inside, right, I'm able to still find Spotify and etc. What happens on the S22 Ultra, I hold my finger like this, okay, and I have the option to select. If I go there and select, I can do stuff, I can add more things. I have then also the option to remove it, right? And it pretty much works in the same way. Of course, there are plenty of other things, guys, let me just show you. If I click the folder here and I go there, I can choose custom shades. You know, it's, it's all very, very much customizable. And it's not only because of Android, it's because of One UI 4.1, but you can pretty much do these things also on a stock Android, let's say a Pixel device. All right, it's time to check the Recents menu. So on the Samsung, I just do like this, boom, I have all my applications. On the iPhone, I do like this, boom it's yeah pretty much the same now just keep in mind on the samsung i can use home app and i can really change the appearance i do also have access to my favorite icons i do also have a search icon and you can modify this you can get rid of the search box and etc on the ios it's really again very efficient yet those still very simplistic you just like this and you just have your applications right how can you close them there is no close button like to kill all of them on the samsung it's very easy close all and they're there. Keep in mind that closing your application doesn't really work for you all the time. And I think YDG said it in one of my videos as a comment, uh, like free RAM on Android is not good RAM. So don't really bother having too much applications, okay? Unless of course they're not very intensive. Some words about widgets. If you want to add widgets on the S22 Ultra, hold your finger like this, go to the widgets, then here you have them, right? All of the widgets, Why, by the way, also the smart widget now is back. On the iPhone, hold the finger like this. On the iPhone, hold the finger like this. There is a plus sign. From the plus sign, you are presented with all of your widgets. You have the weather, you have um, calendar, you have the music, the Spotify, the smart stack. And actually, you know, this is really a huge thing because some time ago, there were no widgets inside iOS. And I guess, guys, this is really about almost everything important in terms of a, yeah, comparison between the Android 12 1 and 1 and the iOS 15.4. Of course, there are plenty of other things, but I just wanted to show you the navigation around. One last thing we can still do, show you the application opening and closing, because I know a lot of you are going to ask this question. So this is going to be, let's say, YouTube. Let's just try to open YouTube in 3, 2, 1. All right. So this is like up closing, up opening. Okay, I'm just gonna go like this right now, just gonna close it. Okay, it's not so different. Let's just do YouTube one more time. So one, two, three. Okay. I think the animation on the S22 Ultra is of course a bit faster and quicker. This is in your phone, this is still the uh, iPhone 11, but it is what it is. And guys, I really hope that you have liked this video. If that's the case, don't forget to really like the video, subscribe to my channel, please. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. We also have a Telegram channel. You can go and subscribe for that channel. There is also a chat channel for the Telegram channel if you want to have a chat with me or with us. And guys, please, you and your family stay safe until we meet in one of my next videos. And with that said, VST over and bye.